dating back to more than 2,000 years ago, the Antikythera is the most sophisticated technological device that survives the ancient Greek era. It has been described as a pocket universe and a model of the cosmos. Now on display at the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, much about the Antikythera remains unknown, including its purpose, the inscriptions scattered across its surface, and even its creator. Treasure hunters are still searching today for missing parts of the mechanism that may reveal hidden secrets about the inner workings of this masterpiece, which is arguably priceless because of its uniqueness and significance. Welcome to Lost Treasures. I'm Tim, and this is the Lost Treasure of the Antikythera. So what is the Antikythera mechanism? The Antikythera mechanism was held in a wooden case, a bit like a clock that might go on the mantelpiece. Inside, it was made of bronze gear wheels, and there was a big dial on the front. Instead of telling you the time, it showed you the movements of the sun, the moon, and the planets. You turned the handle on the side to move the gear wheels and wind forward and backward in time. It drove these mathematical pointers, showing you the positions of celestial bodies, the date, and even the timing of the Olympic Games. There's a calendar, there's an eclipse prediction dial, and there are inscriptions giving you information about what the stars are doing. The dials and the pointers are telling you everything you need to know about the state and workings of the cosmos. Contrary to what Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, the latest instalment in the epic franchise would have you believe, the Antikythera unfortunately won't transport you back in time. At least 30 bronze gear wheels survive, but there were probably many more originally. Researchers are not aware of another gear wheel that has survived from the ancient Greek world. There are no other devices like it before or after the Antikythera until we come to the invention of modern mechanical clocks in medieval Europe more than a millennium later, in the 13th century. How was the Antikythera mechanism discovered? The Antikythera was found by sponge divers who discovered a shipwreck in 1900 whilst working in the Mediterranean. The ancient vessel's crew members were blown off course by a storm and they sheltered on the little island of Antikythera. When the storm passed, they dived down. The first diver to go down came back up, terrified, talking about how he'd seen a pile of rotting corpses on the seabed, men, women, horses. It turned out that these were not corpses, but the remains of statues. They had discovered a shipwreck that was full of treasure. The sponge divers then recovered as much of the cargo as they could, working for the Greek government and directed by archaeologists. They spent about 10 months hauling up marble and bronze statues, gold and jewellery, pieces of furniture like a throne, weapons, beautiful glass bowls, amphorae, 
that would have been full of wine and olive oil. Eventually, they discovered a mysterious device known today as the Anti-Kythera. The ship set sail between 70 and 60 BCE. It was coming back west from the Asia Minor coast, the eastern Mediterranean. Initially, it was thought to be a Roman vessel bringing looted treasures home. Further analysis of the wreck suggests it was actually a Greek trading vessel that was carrying this luxury cargo back home. Did Archimedes create the Antikythera mechanism? A well-believed theory is that the Greek mathematician Archimedes made the Antikythera. Cicero, a Roman writer and politician around 1st century BCE, wrote descriptions of devices that sound quite similar to the Antikythera. As they don't have any technological detail about how the machines would have worked, historians have never really been able to take them that seriously. Cicero talked about bronze machines, globes that turn to show the motions of the heavens, and one of them he attributed to the philosopher named Poseidonius, who lived on Rhodes in the first century BCE. At exactly the time, scholars think the Antikythera ship would have stopped off at the island. The main theory is the device was made in a workshop on Rhodes, perhaps Poseidonius's workshop, perhaps as a commission for a wealthy buyer who lived in northern Greece and was being shipped from Rhodes to northern Greece when the ship sank. Cicero also wrote about another device he said was constructed by Archimedes, the legendary mathematician and inventor. Archimedes lived a couple of centuries too early to have made this particular Antikythera mechanism, but he could easily have invented this idea of representing the universe or celestial motions in a machine using bronze gear wheels. It probably would have started off a bit simpler and then been refined, incorporating the latest astronomical thinking over the centuries. We don't know for sure, but Archimedes would be our prime suspect for the person who invented this entire line of technology. But what mysteries does the mechanism still hold? The discovery of the Antikythera tells us that we did not appreciate what people were capable of in the ancient world. The machine was under the sea for more than 2,000 years. It's in pieces, it's battered and corroded, and different layers of it are all fused together. About two-thirds of it has also been lost to the sea. Scholars have used x-rays, CT scans and other tools to study the 82 surviving fragments. Slowly they have started to learn about how it worked and what it did. But certainly, in terms of exactly how that front dial worked and what it showed remains unclear, as a lot of it is missing. We know it showed the planets, but don't know how it showed them, which has caused a lot of debate amongst scholars. The other main mystery is whether the device is one of a kind. It seems pretty unlikely, as it's just too well made, too sophisticated, too complex. It's quite small too, as small as you could make something like this without needing magnifying glasses to see all the components. Generally, with a piece of technology like this, you would start off making it bigger and simpler. The design is too refined to be a first effort, and is therefore the product of decades 
maybe centuries worth, of development. Divers have been going back down to the Antikythera shipwreck since around 2012. They have been searching for more pieces of this mechanism, as well as similar devices that may unravel the mystery of the origins, purpose and workings of the Antikythera. Who knows, there may be better preserved versions in existence, or maybe there are even more advanced technologies from the ancient Greek era waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining me on this journey to uncover the story of the lost treasure of the Antikythera. Please share, like and comment below. I will be releasing videos every Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to ensure that you don't miss them. Until next time, thank you.